keeping our children safe and our schools open. For any parent, it doesn't matter how low the risk of any illness or accident is when it comes to your child or grandchild. Trust me, I know. So, let me speak to you directly. Let me speak to you directly to help ease some of your worries. It comes down to two separate categories. Children ages 12 and older who are eligible for a vaccine now, and children ages 11 and under who are not yet eligible. The safest thing for your child 12 and older is to get them vaccinated. They get vaccinated for a lot of things. That's it. Get them vaccinated. As with adults, almost all the serious COVID-19 cases we're seeing among adolescents are in unvaccinated 12 to 17-year-olds, an age group that lags behind in vaccination rates. So parents, please get your teenager vaccinated. What about children under the age of 12 who can't get vaccinated yet? Well, the best way for a parent to protect their child under the age of 12 starts at home. Every parent, every teen sibling, every caregiver around them should be vaccinated. Children have four times higher chance of getting hospitalized if they live in a state with low vaccination rates rather than states with high vaccination rates. Now, if you're a parent of a young child, you're wondering when will it be, when will it be the vaccine available for them? I strongly support independent scientific review for vaccine uses for children under 12. We can't take shortcuts for that scientific work. But I've made it clear I will do everything within my power to support the FDA with any resource it needs to continue to do this as safely and as quickly as possible. And our nation's top doctors are committed to keeping the public at large updated on the process so parents can plan. Now to the schools. We know that if schools follow the science and implement the safety measures like testing, masking, adequate ventilation systems, which we provided the money for, social distancing, and vaccinations, then children can be safe from COVID-19 in schools. Today, about 90 percent of school staffs and teachers are vaccinated. We should get that to 100 percent. My administration has already acquired teachers at the schools run by the Defense Department because I have the authority as president of the federal system, the Defense Department and the Interior Department, to get vaccinated. That's authority I possess. Tonight, I'm announcing that we require all of nearly 300,000 educators in the federal head paid program, Head Start program, must be vaccinated as well to protect your youngest our youngest, most precious Americans, and give parents the comfort. And tonight, I'm calling on all governors to require vaccination for all teachers and staff. Some already have done so, but we need more to step up. Vaccination requirements in schools are nothing new. They work. They're overwhelmingly supported by educators and their unions. And to all school officials trying to do the right thing by our children, I'll always be on your side. Let me be blunt. My plan also takes on elected officials and states that are undermining you and these life-saving actions. Right now, local school officials are trying to keep children safe in a pandemic while their governor picks a fight with them and even threatens their salaries or their jobs. Talk about bullying in schools. If they'll not help, if these governors won't help us beat the pandemic, I'll use my power as president to get them out of the way. The Department of Education has already begun to take legal action against states undermining protection that local school officials have ordered. Any teacher or school official whose pay is withheld for doing the right thing we will have that pay restored by the federal government 100 percent. I promise you, I will have your back. The fourth piece of my